What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of the Hunter Call of the Wild where we are doing our Fallow Deer Great One grind here in Teora. Um, it's been a little bit since you guys seen an episode on YouTube for it, but here we are, back at it again, trying to get that Great One. So far we have 4,370 kills in this grind and um, we gotta be close, right? 4,300 kills in at least and uh, no Great One? I feel like it's uh, kind of crappy at this point. Of course, if you guys have been watching, you guys have been noticing we've been trying to do a lot more of our stacking of level fives. We're trying to stack all fives at this point in time. We haven't seen any rare fur types, but I think it's time we start killing them off and hopefully maybe we can spawn that great one. That would be nice. Um, we have a lot of level twos as well that we have going on. If you guys are wondering what we are going to be using, we're going to be using the Th Sporter 303 Burnish Rifle. Hold on a second. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to also use the Marathi once in a while as well. Uh, and sometimes we might use the Electronic Collar. Um, other than that, we are going to be doing what we're doing. Killing the deer and hoping for the damn best, because I've been so unlucky. I mean, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of freaking diamonds, a lot of piebalds, one albino in the grind, and uh, one melanistic in the grind. So I have two melanistics total, though, for fallow deer. Only one of them came from the grind itself. Level four. Okay. Okay, level three. Level three. Okay, let's kill all them. Um, but, you know, we're just trying to get this fucking great one that we are so trying to get for the longest of times at this point. And it sucks that uh, we can't... Shit. Well, I got one of them. And I'm rusty, apparently. That's good. So hit him. And hit you. Alright. Moving on. So do you think we'll find the great one today? I hope so. I'm pretty sure we'll find diamonds. Because there's a lot of level 5s that are splayed about somewhere in this map. At least I thought I saw a bunch, but... I say that and I see level threes. I mean, I see a lot of level twos as well, but that's to be, you know, a given. But so far we have a record of seven diamonds in an episode over the course of, what, an hour? Which is pretty damn good. But of course, we're going to shoot all the level threes, all the level fours, and the fives today. Level twos stay alive, level ones stay alive. For the chance of them just being at least level 3 or bigger. Ideally, higher than level 5. Maybe level 10? Hmm? Wouldn't that be crazy? How crazy be I've been trying to get the great one for this long, and we happen to see, like, I don't know, two of them? That would be insane. I, even though I've been grinding this for so long, and, and I would love to see that. Maybe that'd be a treat and a half. Uh, there's a female. I don't like that there's a female. At this location. There's our first level 5. 230 to 272. He is white for his fur type. Odds are he'll make it. But I guess I'm going to have to be patient with him. Since he is coming out of the woodworks. As it were. I want to go for that lung. Because he's forward facing us. Or that'll work just as good. Good start. Level 5 right there. Level 2. Holy shit, you're big. Level 5, 283. Tops. 265. The yardage is pretty far for yardage. Let's try to um, compensate. Got him. And I don't know if I hit that one good. I don't think I did. 
He's dying pretty quick, but I think I hit him in the liver. He's dead, though. Well, we'll find out if we botch that one. At the very least, we hit two of them correctly. Bare minimum. Start collecting some of these bodies, shall we? First up, we have White at 162.34. Also looking for more D along the way. Um... Let's head to that level 5. Messy. Very messy. But the hunting pressure, as we know, at the double lakes here, does not matter whatsoever. We already found this out by shooting this to Kingdom Come, and then you come back to this game, and what do you know? They all respawn. That's crazy. Some of them just in slightly different locations in the lake, but... It's always at these lakes. I've actually been trying to get rid of that female that you saw with that level 5, but I can't seem to get rid of her. I shoot her all the time and she always comes back, so she might be here to stay, unfortunately. There used to be, I think, three of them at this lake that ended up coming here. I got rid of two of them, but the last one is a little stubborn. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, you trolled. All right. 238, I think that said. That's fine. First troll of the day. Hopefully we find something cool. I thought we would, but I'm not so sure. 181.89 on the silver fallow deer. I think we did biff that shot that was over there somewhere. Unfortunately. So far we killed seven of them. It's not bad. Did you guys check out that new uh, trailer for the new uh, guns that are coming out? They look pretty nice. At least two of the three of them do. The shotgun and the... Uh, AR? The AR looks insane. There we go, 252.10. That is pretty nice. Let's uh, take a picture of you. To take a picture, I gotta get rid of this junk. As you guys know, by now. Would you put away your damn phone? There we go. Um, take a picture of you here. This looks good. It looks good. White. Double lung shot. 294 yards away. Back to you. Let's turn our stuff back on. I hear something yelling at me, but... Nothing worth our time. Oof. Game likes to freak out every time I do that. Ah, uh, non-vital organ. As I suspected. I bet this one is a diamond too, and I bet I biffed it. If that's the case, that's okay. We have enough of them. It doesn't hurt my feelings. It really doesn't. If it was, you know, refer type and I biffed it, I'd be a little bit more perturbed at this point because I'd like to hit those correctly. Yeah, you were a diamond. 264, you were bigger too. Damn. You have that though. Side by side diamond. Also, it's weird. The one that actually had the bigger estimate actually was the smaller of the two diamonds. It's funny. 252 to 264. 264, I think that one went up to 267, I believe, for the rating of his diamond potential. And he scored pretty high. I think the highest one we have at this point, though, is I think is a 270.7, I think is the biggest fallow deer that we have. If I am correct in saying that. It's pretty big. 
The only thing bigger I think I could find at that point is what? The great one? Probably. In my luck, I will never get it. So many kills then. Level two, level two. It's not worth acquiring when they're only level two. Let's see. 185.91, I biffed you, but you would have been a silver. Doesn't matter though. It's just another one on the scoreboard and more money for me. I also saw that we're gonna get speed loaders for pistols. And that's pretty crazy. I think that's pretty nice though. I think that'll give a lot more incentive for people to want to use pistols. For sure. So I think that's a cool thing that they're doing. I saw that. I saw that we're going to get customiz more customization options for our, uh, in general, we're going to get like five new camos. I think we're getting new medals too, right? I think we are. Um, and then we can, you know, we can customize our binoculars. Finally. And our range finders. If you guys prefer to use the range finders, all that stuff. It's great. Level two. Level two. Level three. Oh, you're not worth getting, though. Actually, maybe I could just use the ATV, but you're so, like, annoying. He's in the water anyway. It doesn't even matter. Recently, I've got in the group to spawn right here, so I like to, like, shoot what's over over here, over here, or whatever. Run up here. And then look in this direction to see if there's anything, like, spawning. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Depends on what they feel like. I mean, they won't spawn every time, but when they do, it's usually one to two males in this location where I'm standing, right here. It's not bad. It could be better. But it's still not bad. Hopefully something unique spawns there this time. Sometimes I see, like, males that are... Coming up this little path going towards that little island area that I hate. Yeah, that area sucks. It's not great. I don't like it because you can't ever get a good vantage point over in that direction. I think I got everything out of there. I believe. At least I freaking sure hope I did. I mean, it says there's one here, but I don't mind coming to this location where they are located and just shooting them. It doesn't matter to me as much. But when you go over there, there's no good vantage point for you to take a shot without them being always alerted 100% of the time. It always happens. So, I'm glad I got them out of there. So at this point, we're just waiting for them to spawn when I'm far away enough. It's that where they're not going to spawn at all. Are they going to spawn this time? They do sometimes. I think I'm far away enough, too. It's not this time. Damn. Oh, well. Let's see. Where should we go? Here? Sure. So far, we have eight deer killed. We got one diamond. I biffed one diamond. Oh, well. And then there was one that was a troll as well. You have that. What's over here? There's level 5. 270 at the top estimate. 229 at the bottom. I don't love that estimate. But regardless, we're going to have to take the ATV to get over there. I kind of wish with this new update, I know we're, we could customize our range finders and our binoculars in this new update that we're getting, but I kind of hope you would be able to customize the ATVs relatively soon as well. That would be pretty nice. Got him. Because, like, it would be cool to just have, like, I don't know, like a camo ATV or purple ATV or whatever you prefer. Could be nice. Also, we're getting class changes for some animals too. I think um from what I saw, um, what Daniel told me, my buddy. Uh because I have yet to watch the stream that Jaxi put out. I gotta watch it. Um that we're gonna be getting the mule deer changed to a level five instead of a level six. And then we're also getting the bobcat from a level three to a level two. 
Um, the mule deer is fine. I'm not thrilled about the uh, bobcat change because I like using the Marathi on them. It's because you could just blow them out of the sky every time with it. It's so good. But now you you can't. You'll have to use something like I don't know the 250 or a shotgun or something else or a pistol of some sort that I'm not aware of that is just as good. So I don't love it, but whatever. I guess at that point you want to, if you wanted to get a bobcat, now's the time to do it with a Marathi because you'll probably have the easy time with Marathi. However, there is one caveat to using the Marathi that is very um, dangerous because you could shoot them through the butt, try to get the Texas hard shot, right? But you can actually shoot too far and it'll hit the skull and then you'll destroy the animal. So I can understand maybe that's why oh, you trolled. I can still understand maybe that's why they decided to move it from a level three to a level two because it, the Marathi does just shoot right through their body like butter to a point where like you can just destroy a diamond even though you shot it in the butt. So it's yeah, it's different. I mean, it just means I haven't forced to shoot them like I shoot foxes. And I don't like that plan. It means it's going to be harder for me to kill them more often, too, because I liked doing that, like, I don't know, at Rancho and Tyaga, like, shooting them. Two level five side by side, that's nice. I don't like the angles the rat. We're going to have to use a Marathi and get closer with these angles. But we can get them. Surprisingly, only one diamond so far, with considering how many little fives we've seen. Well, two diamonds, technically. We biffed one. Uh, looks like the Marathi is the way to go here. And that one's pretty damn well defended. So we're going to have to shoot this one. Which actually looks like the bigger of the two anyway, if I'm looking at the antlers, to me. Yeah, I think that's right. Do we have to be at 165? 164? Yeah, for yards. That's why we're going so slow. I could also uh, try this, actually, the uh, collar. back up a bit. It'll get their attention. It should get their attention. Thought I had a good shot on him, but nope, the female's still in the damn way. It was a good shot. Got them both. Beautiful. That worked out wonderfully. That was awesome. I was a little concerned considering they were both side by side. I thought I would only get one and not the other, but nope. The other one decided to be stupid. So. Level one. Ah, oh, there's a level three over there. I gotta shoot you. Right next to the level one. I gotta be careful about that shot. I do not want to hit the level one. That's for damn sure. I mean, die next to each other. Oh, that's so cute. Let's take this shot on the level three first. I hit him. He's dying. He's dead. Are you both diamonds? You are. That's so nice. Look at you. Look at that stance. You crazy looking. 255.02 dark. Single lung. Any other? 252 also diamond. Very nice. Very nice. Side by side diamond. Just like the other. I love that. All right, let's get this other one that's over here. 
That's uh, three diamonds today. One biff. Two trolls? I think that's right. All those are level fives that we just mentioned. Which is a lot. Hopefully, with us killing these level fives, they'll turn into, I don't know, all level ten, right? That'd be pretty cool. I would like that a lot. But it's not gonna happen. It just won't. Because the game is mean to me. But I am happy by getting diamonds. I like diamonds. I just have so many fallow deer diamonds at this point to the point where I should maybe consider making a fallow deer lodge alone. And just put all the fallow deer in there now. But when the time comes, the time will come. And the only thing I probably will change, I'll probably keep like the biggest diamond that I have in like my diamond lodge. I think that's probably what I should do. Let's go over here, see if anything is spawned over there. I probably should do that. Just make a fallow deer lodge. Show everything. Even the pie balls and rare fur types and stuff. Like, I've gotten so many of them. Maybe just, like, leave, like, one multi-mount for a pie ball, then a melanistic and an albino. But I don't have enough albinos or melanistic, so I guess that part doesn't matter. I have so many pie balls, though, it's disgusting. Anything. Is there anybody here? That's a big level four. Yes, I know it's at 164. I want to shoot it like that. Because I've gotten used to shooting at 164 without the zero ring change. And I think it's a little fun to do it like that. We'll see if that one's a diamond too. I don't think it will be since he's level four, but it's possible. Let's see, level two, level three. Shoot the level three. Shoot the level three. Now. We'll collect this one, then we'll go check the diamond potential. Hey, did you know your friend's dead? Go home. Get out of here. Freak. He doesn't care. Sorry, she doesn't care. She likes that lake. That's like a place to hang out, you know? She likes bathing in there, walking in there, eating from there. And then she realized that was coming and then ran away. I understand. What time is it? Oh, the drink time is done. Exactly right now. Okay, we'll go uh, take a look at that other time potential though. Uh, 164.36. That's pretty tasty. We'll take a look at that potential, then I'll change the time. Technically, I don't even have to um, uh, grab him first and then change the time. I can just change the time and it'll be different. And this body will still be here. Because we tested that out too, we'll see if the body's like it removed or not after you change the time. And it doesn't. It doesn't matter. That's a lot of them. There's only level twos in there, huh? Or level one. Or level threes. What's that one in the back? I think that was level two. At least freaking tiny. That body's still coming, slowly but surely. Uh, 247. I mean, you were close. You were close. Let's go here and change the time back one hour. 11 o'clock is still too early, even though they start drinking at 10. The sweet spot is like 1120 to 1300. After grinding for so long, that's what I've discovered. Let's take a look at this area next. See if there's anything. Hopefully something. Diamond. Refer type. Great one. Level two. Yeah, it's probably level two. And level three. Like always. Sometimes there's a diamond there. 
And I think sometimes there's a pie ball there. And then we'll check to cross the waterway afterward as well. We'll check like right here. There's usually stuff there. Let's see, this time through... Also, sometimes there's just nothing. Sometimes, even though it has their drink time here, sometimes they don't spawn, which is annoying as well. But they are here. And you are all by now. Hello. You will die. And you're level two. Okay. Sweet. Albino. That's the second albino in the grind. Out of 4,300 kills so far. Yeah, I know. Don't at me. I have bad luck. Ton of pie balls, though. I can show you a whole pie ball lodge. It'd be crazy. And then over here, we have level four. And you look bigger. Level five. 234 to 276. I like that like that a lot. I don't like that you're in the freaking water, though. That's for sure. Sucks. Hello, albino. You belong in my lodge. With a double long shot at that. He's a pretty boy. Look how big he is. Level four and everything. I love it. Look at that. Now that's a trophy. Just a solid gold albino. Hmm. Level three over there. Let's see if we can get this level five from this yardage. It's pretty big. I'm guessing it'll be uh, 268. It looks big. Got him. He's in the fucking water. We have to wait for him. That sucks. Hit him. He's not dying. I'm not even gonna bother to chase that one. Then we have one over here. 290 yards. Oh. Perfect. That's 18 deer dead now. Now we gotta freaking wait for our diamond potential to show up. Well, in the meantime, we can uh, hang out. Look at the Stars. Well, I guess it's daytime. There's no stars. Look at the clouds. Look at the sun. Look at all the freaking trees that are around. The water. Little Miss. What do you think, Little Miss? Hey, come back here. Come hither. She doesn't know what hither means. But I am pretty excited for this new DLC that we're getting. I am extremely excited. I... I definitely wish the Bobcats weren't gonna be, like, a level 2 animal. I really wish they were gonna be level 3 still. I wish the alligator would change. I wish the alligator would change to a 7 and maybe the crocodile to an 8. Like, I feel like they should be bigger, you know? And you could argue Red Deer at 7. But, um, I'm trying to think of any others you could even argue. I mean, you could argue Lions going down from a 9 to an 8. As well. Because they're, they're level 9 animal too, right? I think they are. I might be wrong. But everything else... Is pretty good. Oh, and aren't Access Deer going up? I don't think they are. I think they should go up, though. From a 3 to a 4. So you can just use other things, just like the Sporter 303 and all the other type of guns you would like to use on them. And I think raccoons should go down back to a 1. I like it when raccoons were a 1. Because, like, I can just shoot them and then I won't have to worry about the freaking score. No, now I gotta shoot them with this 22250. And then I'll be like... Please just die. Please just die in the correct way, please. But you can shoot them in the head, and it still count. You just can't shoot them in, like, the intestines, you know? So, you know. Is there any other animals you guys would change? Leave that in the, leave that in the comment section below. I'm curious what you guys would change for, like, some ratings for animals. 
But with them changing that, does that also mean they're resetting the population for those animals? Probably. Because they're changing them. Unless, like, it, that change isn't, isn't that major. I guess we'll find out when time comes. I gotta watch Jaxie's vid. I guess he might just say it in his vid. So, are you a diamond? You tell me I wasted my time with you? Yeah. You have that. Let's go, little miss. Let's get you as well. I mean, we got an albino. I can't complain. Let's collect this body. And then I'm guessing we should go over here. I might change the time to 1130 because 1130 is a good sweet spot for animals as well. And then maybe over here. Nothing has really been spawning here except for females as of late, which I'm, I don't hate. Just because, like, I don't like going there. It's not very fun to be at that location. But let's see. There, there, there. Sometimes things spawn there, but they haven't been at Pukimaru as of late, which is good. Because I don't like going over there. We should go here. And then migrate over here, see if there's anything. And then I guess we'll start migrating back. Towards the spots we already did and checked. Like the double lakes again. I'm thinking that's what we do. Maybe something bigger will spawn. You know, like a great one. Hmm, that would be nice. And you are 181.54. Wasting my time like always, but I knew that already. How many level fives is that now? Like nine? It's a lot. It's a freaking lot. But we only got what? Three diamonds? Three diamonds, one albino. The rest of them were trolls. Oh, technically four diamonds. One of them we biffed. Yeah, that's correct. Let's see what's here. Of two. You're level four? You are level four. Uh, you're the only thing worth shooting. Everything else is level two. You damn female. Why'd you have to get in the way? That's gonna mess up things. That sucks. I wonder where they're gonna go from there now that we shot the female. Ouch. Maybe it'll get better, right? Maybe the, the locations will be better for them. Who knows? But as of late here, there's been a lot of level twos. I think I've only seen one or two deer that are actually worth shooting here now. Everything else really hasn't been, unfortunately. It used to be cluttered with, like, bigger animals, but it really hasn't been the case for a while now in this grind. For, like, a few hundred kills, minimum. I don't know if it would be worth, like, placing tents over here. I've considered it. Like, I don't know if the range is good enough. Like, I know it's good enough over here, and they can shoot, like, I don't know, right here. But it's a little different. Was that a pig? Usually it is. The walk here is just too damn long. Can I see the level 4 at the very least and shoot him or kill him? No. That sucks. We don't get the level 4 here. We get nothing. Because I deserve nothing. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some fleeing, like casually jaunting. Now I'm not expecting to see anything like is it here? Yeah, I'm not expecting to see anything here worth shooting. There wasn't one bigger one over here that I saw last. 
So hopefully that remains the same. Or you just turn to level two, so I don't ever have to come over here. Because I would prefer just to leave some zones and never have to come back. Like before, there was only only uh, level ones and twos over here, and then that three spawned over here recently. And I'm pretty, I was pretty surprised to see level three over there. For sure. And only females spawn here now. So we don't even have to show up here. Which is good. It means the grind rotation is a little bit faster. But you are bigger. Level three. Well, you're not bigger. You're shootable, I mean. Okay, we are out of breath. Didn't realize how out of breath we truly were. But we got him. Again, surprised. Because before there was only level 2s here. So I don't know. I mean, I have been shooting the female at the dry lake. So maybe that shifts some things around. I don't know. That one female that was with that level 5 that trolled. Yep. Let's take a little peek see over here. Anything? The answer is no. And where did the other guy go? I thought I shot him pretty well. Oh, I did. There he is. And, um... Nothing else. Maybe that level 4 that I saw that was over here migrated over to here. It's possible. Because he was alone, is why I mention it. Okay. Let's go to this location. And then once we go to this location and check out those spots, we'll rotate back to the dry lakes. And see if there's anything luxurious or poopy doopy doo doo. Maybe there'll be a super rare. That'd be cool. I've only come close to getting a super rare once, and it was a pie bomb. Because um, he had the estimate that he could make it, but he only had one point to make it. And he was, um, I think he was level 5, too. He just didn't make it. And I was like, oh, man. But he was level 5, to be, to be sure. It would have been cool to get a super rare. I would have loved that. That was back in when... The kill count was around... It was like in the 1500 range, I believe. We are... Hopefully... Past that number by a... Big margin. It's in the water? That sucks. What'd you say? It's in the water? It's not worth getting? You got it. Sometimes things have been spawning over here, and that's been annoying. I've been trying to shoot them out of that little location over there. Oh, well, give me your full opinion then, Feral Pig. That level 4 isn't going to be anything. It's going to be some money, but it's not going to affect the grind at all if we don't pick it up. I mean, he'll respawn like any other. We've already tested that out before. It's not like he's just going to disappear. It's just like we need to get the grind a little bit faster at this point. I mean, I'm still going to pick things up, but when we already waited in the water once for a level five and guess what? He trolled, so, you know, it do be that way. Um, the next spot is actually right here. They like spawning here, even though the drink zone is right here, which is weird, but whatever. I don't hate it. It can be a little frustrating. If you come across them and you don't know that for the first time, because they will always be alerted the first time. Might as well shoot one of these. I don't even see them. Why am I even bothering? It's a better question. Right? 
something to get at least while we're running. It gives Little Miss something to do. Make her feel useful. I know it's a female, but who cares? Now my ducky. Thank you. Almost there. I usually like to walk from here just because I don't want to spook them. They're easy to spook over here. I think there's anywhere from two to three males here. I think that's correct. We'll find out when we get here. I want to be ever so careful in this location. Oh, and then we don't even have to go to this tent anymore. Because um, there's one male that spawns here, and it's a level two. So I never have to go there ever again. Which kind of sucks, because it's a very easy spot to shoot at. But, whatever. It just turned to a level two, and then nothing else ever. Every time I checked it ever since, it... That's what it was. Level 5, 224 to 266. I'm trying to see if there's any other males. Level 2, level 3, level 5. Level dead. Got both of them. Beautiful. That's 22 kills. Not a high kill count this episode, but we're still finding things, which is good. A lot of deer. That's why we go and uh, do that. Oh, also, they were kind of over here when they spawned. I gotta keep that in mind. That gives me more of a uh, breathing room to actually run up to them. See, we can get this one because this one's actually close to us. I know. Crazy. Let's see if this one makes it. Be nice. He has the antlers to make it. 257. Yes, we do. Beautiful. Single long shot. He's good looking. Um, reset the view. Taxi. From 161 yards away. I'm going to go up here over this hilltop. I'm going to see if anything spawned here. And then we'll check the double lakes. That's what, four diamonds? I think so. Four diamonds, one rare fur type. Pretty all right. There they go. There they are. He's a level three. And he's dead. What's that? He's dead now. Where'd he come from? Did he come from like over here? I sure the hell hope not. I don't think that's the same herd that we shot from originally. Regardless, we could still shoot three there, so. If it was from that same herd, we shot two initially. Three's the max for the hunting pressure before the. Hunting pressure becomes too much, and then they migrate elsewhere. Without a, um, stand of some sort. I didn't shoot him right at all. <laughs> Thought I did. Was not the case. Busy over here, isn't it? This zone is cleaned up. Could go back there. Just to see. It only takes like a second to check there too. Might as well. Is what was there before? Level 5 that trolled? That's right. That is correct. All 
Alright, give me my level 3 for more money. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Money. It's raining. So the level five turned to a level four. All right. He'll die like the rest, but he's not worth picking up right now. Unfortunately, because he's across that leg. But I wanted to make sure I get that shot in. We have to call an ATV, chase the body. It takes several minutes. I mean, I could always go off camera and get him afterward. So it's not a big deal. Um, it's 12.30. I'm going to actually turn the clock back an hour again. Oh, so you know how nice it's going to be for when we change both of these colors? Because they look they look similar, but not too similar. But, like, you can make the, inf the night vision ones, like, a greenish color. Or, like, something very saturated or red blue anything and be like oh yeah that means it's the night vision colors and you can make the other one like a camo or something that way you don't mistake it we can make one very saturated so you understand what the difference is without being like oh yeah it's green you know i think that's a good idea that's a idea from daniel that he had and i think it was a good idea if you don't know who that is, that's the other series that we do on Hunter Call of the Wild where we play Get Out of Here. You guys should definitely check those out. Those are a good time. Like we, when we uh, just did that episode recently, um, he got himself a piebald road deer, and then I got myself a diamond uh, caper Kaylee. It was pretty nice. One was in Quattro Colinas, and the other was on Revan Tuli. And then we went to New England for the next map, and then we found nothing. But, you know, it does work out that way sometimes. Especially New England. New England likes to troll like no other. So, I'm not seeing much of anything at the moment. However, it is 1130, so they are slowly breaching in to these lakes. There's the level four. Shoot you. You move as soon as I shot. You quick. And what are you, friend? Tiny, that's what you are. Not worth my damn time. Level two, level two, level two, level two, everyone's level two. You are level two, I'm level two, except you, you are level three. Right, friend? Right. Now die. Oh, so I didn't shoot him well. That sucks. Whatever, whatever. Not many are showing up, but it is only 11.30. Also, the female that we shot messed things up, for sure. Which is not good. That's why we're also not seeing as many. The female messed things up bad. Yep. That sucks. Um, we can go here. I guess. I'm trying to wait and see if there's anyone else coming in, but it's all the level twos at the moment. Everyone else really doesn't want to show as of yet. Which is surprising. I kind of figured they would have, but...
I guess they got better things to do. That's fine. You think something else here other than the level 2 at this point? You think that female messed it up so bad that there's a lot of deer here? I don't think so. But I can check. It messed things up so bad that he's not even here. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's uh, go right here and check across the water. Usually the way to fix the spawn after that is you have to like hard reset the game. It usually fixes everything because they have to respawn everything immediately. That is a lot of deer. Level 2. Level 3? You are level 3. Why you gotta hide behind the female though? I'm gonna shoot you in the head. You're not gonna like life. You think I care? Told you. Didn't listen, did ya? What? He's level 3. He doesn't matter. Who am I shooting in the head? I gotta shot him right like a good civilized deer, but no, he's gotta be a jerk. A little jerky jerk. And that's what he gets. Where'd all the deer go? Is there anything over here? Nope, because... Oh, there's some. But did the thing respawn that was over here? Maybe. Um, all females. I can't be good. I guess we can check here. We haven't checked there yet today. There really shouldn't be anything there. Last I checked, it was females, so. There shouldn't be anything there. So, you were hiding behind your friend. Tell me, did you get shooted in the head? Shooted? Yeah, that's a word. Actually, I shot you in the jaw. And in the throat. And I still shot you good. Even though I was aiming for the brain. That's pretty good. It's a good shot. Not the shot I was aiming for. But the shot I needed. Yeah, let's go here. I don't like this zone, but... It is what it is. And because things aren't really spawning, we might get to end the episode a little bit earlier than usual. I usually like to do it for an hour, but 53 minutes in, not a lot of things are coming out. So, if we don't see anything here, it might be a good spot to end it. Or we could go back here and see if anything respawned without albino us. That'd be nice too. Sometimes things spawn there, or they should, but they don't always. It is noon. There's not enough things to spawn here for it to be worth coming here. There never is. Never ever. Anything here. If there is, it's usually right there, right here, sometimes right here, and then once in a while here is where they like to spawn. Even though it'll say there's no drink location here or here, they still will sometimes be there. They just do that. Which makes this lake even more annoying, because you have to make sure you scavenge the whole thing, make sure they ain't spawn one location or the other, because there's always one deer that likes to hopscotch in this frickin' island. This whole, not island, uh, lake. And then other times he just doesn't show up at all. And it looks like today is one of those days where he doesn't show up at all. Are you by the females? The females haven't even spawned. Yeah, the that female that we shot definitely messed things up. So there's nothing even here now. That's insane to me. Wow. That's not good. That's bad. That's real bad. We check Pukimaru. Be a waste of time, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, be a waste of time. I can check here. I know males spawn here. I don't like this spot either, but... Because, like, you can never get the jump on them. They always start fleeing and they have to, like, shoot them on the run here. Unless I started walking, but, like... It takes too long. And the males here that spawn are never big enough. So you just kind of shoot them willy-nilly until they die. You know... Sometimes it's just be that way at some locations. This will be our last spot that we check for today. But we did get some good numbers today. Well, not quantity wise, but rarity wise. There we goes. Like I said, level four. There we go. Always shoot them on the run. Sometimes I hit them. Sometimes I miss them. And then I could guess I could check over here because I like going over there since we're so close. Good shot. There, there's a male. There is a male. And I hate that there's a male here because that means I have to check here more often and I hate checking here. Checking here freaking sucks. You know, badly, it sucks to check over here. It's so out of the way. Even if you put a tent down that's close by, it's still so shitty and out of the way. And you know what it is, just by looking at this location. Like, you have to go, like, check the edges, check over there, check over here. It's just not fun. It's not a fun time to be checking that spot. Amy, why you spawn here? I'm gonna shoot you. If you just catch your damn breath for a second, lady. There, you're dead. That's 30. Look at that. There is something over there. You freaks. Get the hell out of there. See what I mean? They like coming over here, and I don't like coming here. Because it's so annoying to show up here. And you, even though if the range is like 450 yards for like the rendering distance, they don't always show. Like even he shows, and look how far away that little ducky is. 373 yards away. But like, no, you look over in this direction for the fallow deer. They barely ever show, even though they are within rendering distance, which is annoying, to say the least. Let's see, you were 158.22. Are you worth my time? Hell no, you weren't worth my damn time. But, I do think that's a good spot for us to end today's episode of The Hunter Called the Wild Fallow Deer Great One Grind. We killed 31 deer today, and we add that to our totals, and then I'll tell you where we are at. That makes us at... 4,401 kills in this grind to date. This, this whole grind has been so long. So damn long. So long. But, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of today's episode, of course. And if you're new to my channel or have been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so, feel free to subscribe to me. Mad Squash 924 over on YouTube, where my channel is right there. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notified for when a new episode of The Hunter or Call of the Wild comes out. On the next episode, I'll either be playing Get Out of Here with my friend Daniel, where we get out of a map by getting either a diamond or rare fur type or a certain score requirement, or you'll see another episode of the Great One Grind here in Teawara. So we get this damn great one, which will happen eventually. Eventually. Yep. Anyway, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.